In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of the risen Lord and the God the Fathers who raised Jesus from the dead be always with you. On the days of his baptism, Jerry Herman will welcome into the church, give a new light in Christ, and clothe with the garment of salvation. Today, we greet the body of our brother and surround him with the church prayer. We commend our brother Jerry to the mercy of God and pray that the promise made to him in baptism will be fulfilled. We unfold Jerry Caskers, Caskers with this funeral form and a symbol of his baptismal garment. We, Jerry, we commend you to the mercy of God and pray that the promise of eternal life made to you in baptism will be fulfilled. Now let us take our brother to the celebration of the Eucharist. The Easter candle is the resurrection of our Lord. So today is the land, son of Jerry, and Chrissy will come up and light up the land, will light up the candle, the Easter candles. Please be seated. I would like to invite Barry Herman, that is brothers to Jerry. Please come forward for the geology. Good afternoon. It's with honor that I've been given this opportunity to be able to recite Jerry's eulogy. The eulogy was put together by the entire family. Jerry Joseph Herman was born August 24th, 1952 in the town of St. Walberg, Saskatchewan. He passed away December 24th, 2020. Jerry married Sandra Fuchsa and they were blessed with two children, Lance and Chrissy. Jerry was predeceased by his mother, Elner Herman in 2008 and sister Joyce Clayton in 2011. Jerry leaves in his passing son, Lance Herman, and wife Pam, their two ch children, Brody and Aiden, daughter Chrissy Sinclair and her husband, Sean, and their three children, Grayson, Kelly, and Kara. 
Jerry leaves his siblings, Adele, Brian Nedlock, Joliet, Albert Lassard, Marcia, Rod Simons, Barry, Dixie Lee, Herman, and Yvonne, Dan Beausoleil, and as well, numerous nephews and nieces. Jerry started his elementary school in St. Walberg, and he finished his schooling in Paradise Hill. Looking through his old high school report cards, Marcy made a comment that Jerry had good grade 12 marks and that he must have been a good student. Like the rest of the Herman family, Jerry, during his childhood and teen years, was an active member in the Catholic Church and this parish specifically. <clears throat> he served Mass for many years and he actually served Mass at a time when a lot of the Mass was recited in Latin. Jerry, known to his friends as Schmidt or Schmitty, had numerous friends. Um, he was always surrounded by good people and through his teen years and his adult years. And those same friends stayed friends for life, uh, right up to his passing. Family and friends meant everything to Jerry. And he was a loyal friend, and then he had a heart of gold. After leaving school, Jerry took the opportunity to start spreading his wings. And he ventured into the oil field, going to work on a drilling rig in the Tabor area. I recall the stories he told, and Jerry could tell a good story. His stories were about the rattlesnakes, the hot weather, and how dangerous the work was down uh, where he was working. Gosh, as a kid, I thought, well, he must be working near Texas with all those rattlesnakes, scorpions, the hot weather, and that you could see for miles. But he came back to settle in more in Paradise Hill, and he... Uh, took on many roles and uh, became a, a big part of the community. Jerry was an avid outdoorsman. He loved to hunt and he loved to fish. He just loved to be out in nature. I recall the game meat that he used to bring home to the family table. Um, always, always fruits from his hunts and is always willing to share. He knew all of the good fishing holes in the local lakes and he was willing to share those fishing holes with with all, um, he, he, he knew that uh, others could maybe catch some of the fish, but you know what? He, he shared all those good holes, knowing that those people probably weren't a match for the fish that were in his holes. I remember back in the 80s coming back home and Jerry sharing a package of uh, fillets. They were uh, brook trout out around Lake, and uh, the story that goes behind that's amazing. The story is that he, it was late um, fall, there was ice on the water, um, and, but not safe ice. And he chose to use sheets of plywood to crawl his way out to his fishing hole so he could actually um, maybe catch one of those fish. They were fantastic, but a bit of a head scratcher is why someone would, would uh, actually put themselves at risk for that. And all I can say is that Jerry was a determined soul. Brian tells a story about Jerry and him on the canoe trip with two other friends here from town, and they were canoeing down the North Saskatchewan River. Their um, thought was they were going to actually uh, connect on an island and uh, have lunch. Well, they got to the island, and the island's in the middle of the river. Could have been 10, 12 feet, I'm not sure. Brian was in the front, and Brian did exactly what he, he should have done. He got out of the canoe on the right side at the shore. Jerry, unexpecting, um, the canoe just rolled and Jerry flipped out the back. Uh, apparently he came out of the water and he had some fiery uh, words as to what had just occurred. The other three that were standing on shore were uh, rolling in laughter as uh, apparently this was... Uh, entertainment at, at its best. <clears throat> Schmidt was an excellent skater, and this naturally led him to be a very good hockey player. We recall the days of him playing midget and senior hockey with the Hawks, where number 14 darted around the ice, 
with his well-groomed hair, never a hair out of place. He had no fear, and I guess he thought the helmet shielded his good looks, because he retired the helmet way before he retired the skates. He followed most professional sports. He was a huge fan of the Rough Riders, Blue Jays, Maple Leafs, and then became an Oiler fan. Jerry followed the athletics of his numerous nieces and nephews who competed in judo, hockey, slow pitch. It didn't matter the sport, he just followed. Jerry was a truck guy as he needed to be out fishing, hunting, or just driving in the country and always with a friend or with Lance and Chrissy uh, just hanging out. There's numerous memories of Jerry and the kids cruising around town ready to stop and visit with whoever would like to uh, uh, share a few uh, comments. Some of Lance's fondest memories involve fishing with his dad. His dad would wake him up early in the morning, check to see if he still wanted to go fishing. Lance said he never missed a trip. The fishing trips were a ton of fun and they always included brown bag lunches and always stopping to pick up one of Jerry's numerous friends to take them out fishing into his hot spots. They always provided fresh fish for the family and his mom's uh, dinner table. It was most appreciated. Juliet and Adele frequently comment on Jerry's love to visit, and there was never a hesitation from him to strike up a casual conversation with even people that he didn't know. He felt a strong he, sorry, he left a strong impression <clears throat> as to how genuine of a person that he was. And this was often repeated by many. He was a gentle person with a funny laugh. He had no ill judgment of others. He loved his family and always loved, <clears throat> and, always loved and saw the positive side of people or situations. Those who knew Jerry share how happy of a person that he was and how good he made them feel when, when they met him. Another pastime was his love for reading, and when Jerry had, had time, he enjoyed reading Western books, local history, or you guessed it, an outdoor hunting magazine. Jerry was not like many of us, as he was good at almost everything he did. He, <clears throat> he was not one to be reserved and to hold back from learning something new. He took on new and challenging work as an opportunity. Jerry was recognized as being both a hard and a smart worker. He became proficient as a butcher, a carpenter, a concrete layer, was a helpful salesperson due to, to his people skills, and he spent a, a significant amount of time working in the Alberta oil and gas industry with brother-in-law Dan. Never shy in his giving back to the community, Jerry took the opportunity to give back. He did this through countless hours of volunteering through the local Kinsman Club, uh, managing the local pheasant release program, countless hours as a hockey official in the community, and he could always be counted on to lend a hand <clears throat> no matter the situation. Jerry had his share of challenges at numerous points in his life, but he found means to persevere as best he could, and he never complained. Yvonne's comment was he was not a person who moaned and looked for pity, but he pushed harder to overcome the challenges and barriers. These are admirable traits of a good person, and the type of person very well respected by many. As mentioned earlier, Jerry was a Christian, and these roots were firmly planted within him. We know God was never far from him and helped him through those times of need. It is said in the Hebrew proverb, say not in grief, he is no more, but in thankfulness that he was. Jerry, we are so grateful to have you as a father, brother, and a friend. Rest in peace with those gone before us. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery let us call to my our sin and at God for pardon and peace. You raise the dead to life in spirit, Lord, have mercy. You bring pardons and peace to sinners, Christ, have mercy. 
You bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, whose nature is on way to forgive and to show mercy, we humbly implore you for your servant Jerry Herman, whom you have called this day to journey to you, and seen he hope and believe in you, grant that he may be led to our true homeland to delight in his everlasting joys. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. I would like to invite Jerry's sister Yvonne, please come forward for the first reading. <coughs> fails all people. A feast of rich food and choice wines, juicy rich food and pure choice wines. On this mountain he will destroy the veil that veils all people, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The second reading will be proclaimed by his dearly brothers, Dan. A reading from the book of Revelations. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe, <clears throat> he will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give the gift from the spring of life-giving water. The victor will inherit these gifts, and I sh shall be his God, and he my son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Please write for the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be also. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. So on behalf of our ladies of sorrow parents, I would like to offer my condolences to the Herman family. Friends, those who are dreaming on the live stream with us, especially to Jerry, the two children, to Lance and Pamela and your children, and to Chrissy and Sean and your children. When the one we love pass away, Father dies with that person also. But our faith in the risen Lord comforts us. Today we just say farewell to our brother Jerry. Amen. We shall see him again on the last days of the resurrection with all our loved ones. That is the faith in the resurrection. And like in the Eucharistic prayers that we will hear, life is changed and not ended. So hold on to our faith. The risen Christ, the Son of God, 
who is the first food from the dead. And so that is the faith that we gather today to celebrate the life of our brother Jerry. Funerals is important, even during COVID time, because it gives every one of us the opportunity to say farewell to him. Funeral bring closer to Jerry's earthly life here on earth. And we are also looking to see him, looking forward to see him in the next life, the eternal life with God. And as we heard in the geology, Jerry was a generous person. And I'm glad that they, he was willing to share his name, facing hard spot to others. <laughs> because at Brian's, I, in the summer, I go fishing at Peck Lake. And the fisherman never, never share the secret spot. I know it by my experience, <laughs> believe me. And even I said, I swear with the seal of confession, I will not reveal to anybody, but he still not want to share it. <laughs> but Jerry was willing to share, to share with others. And he went fishing and he shared with his family, with his mom, and with everybody. When he went hunting, he got the price. He shared the products. So that is the person that we celebrate today. Even this in the darkness. And all of us, we struggle, especially this time of COVID. We all struggle. But even in the darkness, in our trial, God is still there with us. God is carrying us, calling us, inviting us. And so, do not forget about that. Every one of us, we are born with special gift, with talents. And Jerry, he was good at hockey, at skate. And the gift, every one of us, every one of us in this congregation, we all have different gifts, different talents. And that's how God makes us. Very unique, very special. So even though it must be hard, I understand that on Christmas Eve, the sad news was brought to Adele's, his sisters, that Jerry had passed away. And it was Christmas. And it's it was a joyous, joyous season of Christmas. The Son of God was born for us. But when we heard the sad news that a loved one had passed away, it shake all of us. But do not hold on to those because we, all of us, reality, all of us, we will take our time. One day or another, I haven't seen anybody live on earth forever. That is the reality of our life, our earthly life here on earth. But Jerry will pass away at Christmas. It is very important. This is special. Because Christmas, we celebrate the birth of Jesus, the Almighty God, the Son of God, who is powerful, yet humble himself, became one of that little baby, tiny baby. So let me reflect about Christmas. What is Christmas? Christmas, God on his son, took on our human nature. He remained what he was, God, and he took upon himself what he was not, our human nature. He was tempted by the devil. He was hungers. Now all of us, when his friends died, he was really stirring. He was crying for his friend Lazarus. So Jesus became one of us. The Almighty God humbled himself to become one of us. Jesus had made it tense among us. So when we look at the manger, that humble 
vulnerable baby who is our God. Why is God revealed to us in this tiny baby? Is there any one of us afraid of baby? I don't think so. When we see a little baby, we want to hug that little baby. We want to hold it up. And every one of us needs, you ask your mom and dad, when you were born, mom and dad hold you. This is the cutest child of my life. This is the cutest. So we all have that cute. And even myself, I remember my siblings told me that when I was small, I wore the cute in the siblings. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me after, <laughs> but I, I, I still believe I still look cute. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but see, the cuteness that the innocent of our, of the baby, that God, God wants all of us to know. That he loves us. So do not be afraid. We are not afraid of the little baby. That's how coldness God wants us to know. He loves us with the unconditional love. He became that tiny and everyone wants to hold that baby. Nobody afraid of baby. Nobody, I guarantee you. The cuteness, the innocent. And that's why Jesus said, you will not enter into heaven unless you become like children. Why children? The innocent, the totally trust in God. And at life, in life, we go to life with a teenager. We thought we knew everything, and we said, let me go out of this house. Let me wandering. Today, I invite you, when you go home, read Luke chapter 50. Luke chapter 15, about the lost coins and the lost sheep and the prodigal son. That's beautiful. That God reveals to us through these parables. And all of us, we know this parable of the prodigal son. What happened to the prodigal son? He was the young teenager. He came to his dad and says, divide the property and I want to take what belongs to me and do what I want. Every one of us, we all have free will. And God gave us the free will and he respects that. He will not fall himself on us. And so that teenager came to the father, divide and the father divides and give what belongs to him. And what happened? He went and he spent everything. And so he walked away from home. And when he lost everything and he hit the bottom, rock bottom, and he said to himself, I need to go back home. Even to be a servant in my father's house is better in than to looking after the pigs and even want to eat what the pigs ate and no one gave him anything. So he made the courage to go back to the father. And what happened when the father saw him at the distance? He was running after to him and hug him, welcoming home. That is the God that we worship day in and day out and every Sunday. That is the God of love, of mercy. God name it love that revealed at Christmas, but also his name is mercy. That we see in that Luke 15, in the prodigal son. So we should not, we and I, that all of us, myself and every one of us, sometimes we want to run away from home. Let me be free. Let me explore the woods. But we know that no one needs a sweet home. Home is sweet home. Whatever we go outside, we still need to go home. We go camping in the summer, and at the, after the weekend, we still need to go home. Because that's where we encounter love, forgiveness, acceptance, belonging. And that God, that is the God of mercy, of forgiveness. He wants to 
welcome us. And so even in our deafness, he allowed us to fumble. He allowed us to make me take out our free will. But in our deafness, God is still inviting us that I love you nice a father and mother love you. It's not perfect. Human father and mother, they yet they love us, they yet it's not perfect. All of us, we are not perfect. Only God is perfect. And God is inviting us to forgive to that parable that the prodigal son, that the father embraced him home, brought him home, and put on the robes. Go and look for the fatted calf. Let us kill and separate. My son was lost now. I have found him and put on the ring and sandal. Though are the sign of restoring, he is now the son in the family, not a servant. That is the God that we believe. That is the God that we profess every Sunday. And that is the God that we believe that he will raise up our brother Jerry. So, yes, forgiveness is very important. One of us, we go to line, this, we will be hurt. That is, is bound to happen. We, they, even you go and hide yourself in the cave, it still happens. But the main thing that God wants us to learn from Him, to forgive. At God in Jesus on the cross, He prayed to the Father, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. So forgiveness is very important. When we forgive, we can love again. When we forgive, when we let go, we will be more free. Because if we hold on to the imperfect of our loved one, we burden ourselves, we imprison ourselves. At the end of our life, we need to forgive as God has forgiven us in Christ. And so that's very important. We need to be aware of that. And we thank God for the wonderful gift that God has sent to us, to his son Jesus Christ at Christmas. At that little baby, vulnerable and really cute. We all want to come and hold this baby. That God wants to tell us. He invites us to come closer to him and trust in his mercy, his forgiveness, and leave that message of mercy and forgiveness to one another. Amen. Please rise. Let us profess our faith in God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he come again to church the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Now I invite Jerry's sister Adele, please come forward for the prayer of the faithful. God, the Almighty Father, raised up Jesus, his Son, from the dead. He eat the first fruit from the dead with confidence that he would raise our loved one, Jerry, on the last day. And with all our brothers and sisters, let us raise our voices and our knees to God, that responded, Lord, hear our prayer. For comfort, peace, and unity for the family so that they may find comfort during this time of loss, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for renewed faith to all persons in the community who have suffered a loss. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the spirit of peace, wherever there is fear, anxiety, or anger, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For guidance and safety for all people traveling, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For courage for those who feel overwhelmed with their daily stresses throughout their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick people who are suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our deceased brother Jerry and all our deceased relatives and friends, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayers for our brother Jerry and comfort the families and all who are present here that one day we will be reunited with our brother Jerry in heaven where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God upon creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer with us had given, and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> By the mystery of this world and why may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer, food of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual rank. Lord God, we add you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice. We offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. And we humbly present to you this sacrificial offering, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Jerry Herman. We beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful church who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Live up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, to Christ our Lord, in him the hope of the blessed resurrection had dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying may be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord lies a change and not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turned to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angel and angels, with thrones and dominion, with all the hosts and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, and good now end we acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving you thanks. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, on of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sin, do this in memory of me. The Mysteries of Faith. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to our the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Albert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Jerry Herman, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who is united with your son in the death of his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the life of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and with all the saints who have led you to all the ages, may we merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may pray and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and grace him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, on glory and honor he yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, so we have the courage to say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gratefully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be only free from sin and safe from all distress, that we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and gratefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lay and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death, give light to the world, free us by this, your most holy body and blood, from all our sin and from every evil, and give us always faithful to your commandments. Never let us be parted from you. Behold, this is the risen Lord who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are thou come to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. <coughs> you should remain in your pews and I will go and give you communion. And we Catholic, we believe that Christ truly present in the Eucharist. If you do not wish to receive communion, just make the sign of the cross and I give you blessing.
Let us honor our Mother Mary with the deck of a rosary, and at her to intercede for us and strengthen our faith in her sons, the risen Lord. The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord. Our Father who in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women. And blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are among women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sin and save us from fire of hell, and lead our soul to heaven, especially those who are in need of Thy mercy. Please rise. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of His body, food for the journey, mercifully grant us, strengthened by it, our brother Jerry Herman may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. During COVID, I have to do a monthly task. <laughs> Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother Jerry. May our farewell express our affection for him. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ would conquer all things, destroys even death itself. In baptism, Jerry share in the death and resurrections of Christ. May he be welcome into the glory of eternal life. At a sign of respect for our brothers, Jerry, we let this incense rise to God, who had called him to share in his glory.
Into your hands, Father of mercy, we commend our brother Jerry to the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessing which you bestow upon Jerry in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with all the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, Jerry, and help us who remain to comfort one another with the assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. Amen. Dear friends, may every mark of affection and every gesture of friendship that you give to others be a sign of God's peace for you. May the angel lead you into paradise May the mother come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. In peace, let us take our brothers to his place of rest. 